Hi everyone, uh, my name is Isabella Kong, and today I will be painting a bunny, uh, a simpler, um, quicker version of a animal painting. Um, just quickly, I'm gonna um, show you what I would do with the preliminary sketch, and then after that, I would go in and uh, explain my materials. So let's let's start. So what I'm, what I'm using is a HB pencil on a watercolor paper, which is Archie's uh, um, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. So when you start, you know, kind of indicate how big you want your painting. Do you want it huge covering the entire space or you want a little bit space on the bottom? So I kind of want it somewhere of this size. Um, draw very, very lightly. Don't You don't want to draw too hard because number one, everybody makes mistakes or um, needs a little bit of guidelines. Like kind of like see this oval of the head, I draw through it. Um, and then I'll erase these going through lines later. And it's a funny, fairly easy shape, you know, kind of just two or three three ovals stacked up together, so fluffy. Um, and also, you don't want to draw hard because if you draw hard, I'm going to show an example over here. If you draw that hard, A, it's going to be extremely difficult to erase, and B, you're going to indent the paper. It's going to have little crevasses, and when you paint watercolor, a lot of the pigments are going to gather in those little crevasses. So even though if you erase everything and you can't see the pencil lines anymore, the watercolor pigments are just going to gather there and it's going to show up your uh, mistake all, all over again. <laughs> so it's tricky. Um, so draw really, really lightly. Uh, definitely use a lighter pencil. HB or H is okay. So I'm adding, I added the ears. I think the head here needs to go a little bit higher. So I'm moving that up. And then the nose, there's the pattern. You don't have to draw all the patterns out. Definitely indicate where the eyes and nose are. And then adjust this, he's a little chubbier. So one, and then after that, his arms come in over here. He also is a very light colored bunny, uh, but just because he's white doesn't mean we're just going to leave most of this empty. Um, he actually, there's a lot of color in white and um, you can really See, especially in the shadowy areas, it's more blue tinted, and some parts have seemed like they have a little bit of purple. Um, it's kind of like when the light reflects the surroundings um, onto the white fur. So the purple probably is coming from light hitting the ground and bouncing back into the fur area. All right, so I got roughly how I want the bunny to be. I'm going to erase some of these uh, mistake lines or guide lines or drawing through lines. Um, I think I might make the... I might make the little paws longer, but other than that, I'm pretty much done. So very, very simple sketch. Don't get over complicated. You want your details to be done through the brush strokes. Um, and um, different colors to show through your brush strokes and patterns as well. 